What's up guys, my name is Sozi and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today we are talking about the Serie A League player objective. It is Defrel. I think it's a pretty decent card. The grind is a little bit steep though. You need to win 10 games, you need to score 30 goals, assist 20, score a volley in four separate, which can be a little bit difficult, but again, you might want to work on that by messaging people once you've got the wins, if you need to get that done that way. And then also scoring finesse in eight separate, so most people will be looking for those finesse goals for the most part. Uh, obviously, it's with Serie A players, and it's going to need to be in the managerial masterpiece mode. So let's have a look at the requirements for, for the managerial masterpiece mode, and then jump straight into a team and some tips to get this one done as quick as possible for you. So, manager of Masterpiece Mode, as we know, you need to have a max 77 rated team. You can have only one 88 or higher player, one lone player, and you have to have all gold players on your bench as well. Let's jump straight into the team I've built to help this get this one done as quick as possible. As you can see on the screen, guys, we have got a 77 rated 100 cam team. Uh, we've got a couple of players on the bench as well, and some players that you can use alternatively to boost that rating up for some better players if you want to decrease it with some of the other alternatives. So let's jump straight into the team and have a look at it. Working from the back forward, Sporty Yellow, he is the tallest, lowest rated keeper you can get. Um, you can go for a 6-2 keeper. I personally prefer to go for a taller keepers but there are some 75 rated six foot two keepers if you want to get one of those uh at right back i don't think there's any good right back options so i don't think you should scrimp i think you should go for di lorenzo he's only 80 rated but he's so much superior to any of the other right backs in the league in my opinion um, in terms of the centre-backs, we've gone for some two obvious choices. We've got Tomori, who's just an absolute monster. Everyone will have him. You should have him for sure. And Ibanez is the other one. 81 pace, 79 defending and 77 physical. Also a monster. And he's got medium-high work rates as well as being 6 foot one, which is great. At left-back, we've gone for Haps, who's just a solid left-back. Uh, I believe he used to be in the French League or either the Eredivisie. But he is a solid, solid player. And uh, just, just great player all round with the high pace, good defending, good dribbling, good physicals as well. As we move to midfield, there's plenty of centre mids, so there's loads and loads of options for you. Benson Kerr is one of my favourites, and uh, Weston McKenney is another one of my favourites, just because they're very, very well-rounded and suit the 4-4-2 formation perfectly, as well as being right in that sort of rating category. We do have on the bench Dominguez, who's another great option if you need a slightly lower rated one. And then additionally, we've also got Zambo Anguisa, who is another great option for a more defensive-minded but still box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, in terms of the wingers, we have gone for Ecuban at right mid, mainly because he's got that 86 pace. Decent enough dribbling, both being above the 70s and the shooting as well, and solid physicals at 84. There's not a lot of good right mid options that have got pace, uh, and he fits the rating requirement perfectly at 75. On the left-hand side, I've gone for El Sharawe. You could go for Felipe Anderson or De La Feu as another option. But generally, I just find Shirawe to be a little bit sweaty. And obviously, he's got that high pace, decent shooting, decent dribbling. Uh, up top, no surprise, we've got Keita Balde Dial. He is unbelievable for me. He's so sweaty. 91 pace, 74 shooting. Decent dribbling, decent passing, decent physicals. He's just unbelievable every game. He is so, so good. And I highly recommend using him up top. The other option we've got is Gonzalez, who's got a little bit lower shooting, but decent dribbling and great pace as well. Um, and then, of course, if you can wrangle in Ozzyman for the rating, then you could go with him. But as you'll see, oh no, we can get Ozzyman in there. I thought it was going to take him above the rating cap, but you can get Ozzyman in there as an option. Um, there are some other players that you can use, but the Serie A is stacked with them. Generally, these would be my first go-tos, and I think this team is pretty solid for getting this done. If you like the video, guys, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to me, you can. Make sure to check me out in the socials in the about box below, especially TikTok. My name is Sipsy, and I'll see you guys later.